Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be talking about a medication known as Percocet. This is a combination product containing oxycodone and acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to use as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find the information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on this video as it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So first off, what will we cover in this presentation? So we're going to start off by talking about how Percocet works. We'll talk about indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient. We'll discuss contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Percocet. We'll talk about examples of dosing and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does this medication work? So I mentioned that it is a combination product containing acetaminophen and oxycodone. So acetaminophen is an analgesic and antipyretic drug. It is a non-opiate. And oxycodone is a semi-synthetic pure opioid agonist. It predominantly acts on the central nervous system and organs composed of smooth muscle. So when would we see Percocet be prescribed to a patient? Well, typically this medication is prescribed to treat moderate to severe pain. Now for contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Percocet. So the first one would be if a patient had a hypersensitivity to oxycodone, acetaminophen, or any other component of the formulation. If a patient had acute or severe bronchial asthma or hypercarbia, they would not be able to use this medication unless they were closely monitored. Known or suspected gastrointestinal obstruction would be another contraindication. And they also would not be able to use this medication if they had significant respiratory depression and again are not being closely monitored. Now let's talk about dosing with Percocet. So before somebody was given Percocet, the prescriber would have to consider prior analgesic treatment, severity of pain, and risk factors for addiction, abuse, and misuse. If they were starting off with the immediate release formulation, they may use 2.5 to 10 milligrams of oxycodone with 325 to 650 milligrams of acetaminophen orally every six hours as needed. The maximum dose would be 60 milligrams per day of oxycodone and 4,000 milligrams per day of acetaminophen. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using Percocet, so I'll go over some of those here now. Up to 31% of patients may experience nausea, 4% of patients using Percocet may experience constipation, vomiting seems to happen 9% of the time, and dizziness happens about 13% of the time. Up to 10% may experience a headache, and 4% may experience somnolence. Lightheadedness and sedation are also possibilities. Now some more rare but serious side effects with Percocet would be liver failure, a hypersensitivity reaction, and respiratory depression. That's all we're going to talk about today with Percocet, the combination product consisting of oxycodone and acetaminophen. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.